Hey fellow YouTubers, um, I am new to this, so kind of nervous, excited, anxious, but, um, I wanted to talk with everyone who wants to watch this video about PCOS and hormonal imbalance and what's going on with women's bodies. It's really scary. Um, most of you who don't know, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types, but I suffer from the more androgenic testosterone type where I will have um, excessive hair in places where women shouldn't. So I deal with that. It's not really that mild, but the hormone imbalance that goes with it is very scary. Um, especially when you don't do the normal things that a woman would do every month. And sometimes it's every other month. Sometimes it's every two or three months. Just really just depends. Um, I'll start off with my PCOS story and how I found out that I had PCOS. So I was started becoming sexually active at about 13 years old, almost 14, um, when my mom found out that I was being sexually active, she shamed me and um, had an appointment to put me on birth control, which was the depo shot. Um, not really young enough or <laughs> not, not young enough, but old enough to understand what this drug would do to my body. All I knew was that I wasn't going to have my life ruined by children at such a young age. So I stayed on Depo Vivera for quite some time, um, more than they would recommend by like threefold, um, maybe a little bit of pill here and there because I was just tired of it and wanted to try something different, but always came back to the Depo because the hormones were crazy and outrageous. So finally I met someone who is my husband and, um, I thought, you know, okay, well, now it's time to have a family, do the family thing, be the mom, be the wife, whole 24 yards, all that. Well, when it was like three or four months passed and there was still no positive pregnancy test and there was no sign of menstruation, I decided to get an appointment with the doctor and say, hey, what's going on? Um, because of the insurance issue, they couldn't, uh, do all the things that they wanted to, but, um, my T4 and my excess testosterone is really high, which causes hirtuism, which, if you guys don't know what that is, it's excessive facial and body hair that grows on women that's not supposed to be, so I've been dealing with that for several years. I was... Still on the birth control. They said the birth control will help with your PCOS. It'll manage your symptoms. You'll be okay. I didn't feel okay. Um, it was still continuing. Things were still happening. And life seemed out of control. I wanted to have that family. And being bipolar one on top of all these issues is probably not the best idea. So after talking with my counselor... And the lady who prescribes my medication, she told me about inositol. And what inositol does is it helps a binder for the rest of your hormones to kind of grasp and hold the concept to start these things over again. Because I did not have them for so long. Um, that's great. And for the women who can handle that, I give you mad props. The hormone imbalance with it is just too much. And... Honestly, I'm to the point where I can't, I can't do this anymore. My hormones with my bipolar one is beyond saving. I want to have a life and not feel like I'm being struck down by these hormones and have my husband suffer five times worse than anybody else because of it. I love him and he will suffer with me through anything, but I don't think I can suffer through this anymore. I'm reaching out to keep this for my own personal thing or for people who are going through this and they don't know what to do. There are other people who are there and they do care. I just really hope that I can figure out what I'm supposed to do and get it fixed. 
as a part of a personal fix for myself. And even if I should deal with this or decide to have children, even though it could possibly hurt our, our marriage and my relationships with other people, it's hard. It's just past Mother's Day and everybody else gets to deal with and be a mom and feel all the happy ups and downs while other women like me who suffer from PCOS are just suffering. They, we feel like we don't get to celebrate those days. And for the women who jump back and forth or they feel like they don't know what they want, like me, if there's anyone out there or any women who understand where I'm coming from, what did you do? What is your advice? Like, bring it out here for other women to empower other women and be strong. What I hope to achieve from this is to feel a whole lot mentally better, physically better. And educate the world. And let them be aware that this is something that is not just what everybody says it is. That's maybe my crazy talking, but there is something that we can do as women and stand up. We don't have to be tortured by these men in suits who think it's okay for them to just tell us what we can and can't have and put in our bodies. <laughs> but it's okay for them to bust nuts inside of multiple women and then think like it's okay. Okay. <laughs>